Project Runway capped off Fashion Week in New York with a spectacular videotaping of the finale. In the audience were lucky fans, plenty of press, and past contestants. Everyone had heard the rumors that Jennifer Lopez was going to be a guest judge, but alas, Jenny from the Block was a last minute no-show due to a foot injury. So, Tim Gunn took her place, fittingly. This is a project when they first. And I've said for five seasons that I'm not a judge because I loaded with way too much information and I work so intimately with the designers that I have to tell you it's a thrill and honor. And I'm happy to film at the last minute. And I promise everyone I will be impartial and unbiased and put my relationship with the designers on a metaphorical shelf. Right. So, honey, as you would say, let's start the show. And with that, we were off. There were six finalists showing in order not to give away who the final three really, really are. Hey, everybody. First up was Jarrell with his heavily embellished, almost Baroque collection. Next was Suede. Suede's gonna rock it. Oh my love, you guys. Whose colorful collection of party dresses matched the hues in his mohawk. Third was Joe. God bless, peace, love, and happiness. Love you. And his salute to Americana with well-fitted denim and leather pieces. Fourth was our girl, Kenley. I need my dream wardrobe. Who went for volume in her signature 50s pinup girl aesthetic. And then there was Corto. I want to dedicate this show to my beautiful daughter, Elise whose colorful palette was beautiful and her construction flawless, but still, somehow, a little lackluster for the catwalk. Finally, there was Leanne. This is my beautiful collection. I have lost millions of hours of sleep over. Who played with volume like Kinley, but in Leanne's hands, it wasn't runway tricks. It was pure origami poetry. She like Christian last year, was the clear winner. This is Rod Hagwood reporting from New York's Fashion Week.